everybody, Sean Tubbs here. Thanks for tuning in. This is the Morgan Amps JS-12. It's named after a guy named Josh Smith. He's an amazing blues guitar player. It's got a 12-inch speaker in it uh, made by Eminence, and that was also built to Josh's specs. It's a 12-watt amplifier. It has a 12-watt transformer in it, but I would say it's quite a bit more efficient than that to my ears, uh, more like a 20-watt amplifier. It's a uh, 6V6 power tube driven. It's got 12 AX7s in the preamp section, and it's uh, tube rectified. Um, let's get right into the controls, and then we'll get into some sounds. Uh, it's pretty straight ahead in how it was uh, built. Uh, it's got volume, treble, bass, reverb, and dwell. And then you can see there's a switch here. It's a boost switch. It not only adds a little bit of gain to the amp, but it also gives it a little bit, it kind of shelves everything a little bit higher. It gives it a little more mid growl and uh, bite when you engage that switch. Uh, I, the reverb circuit sounds fabulous on it. I dig the fact that it's got reverb and dwell. Essentially, dwell is going to be the, uh, the length of the reverb or the amount of, I guess, essentially boing. And then, of course, the reverb control itself is going to raise or lower the actual level of the uh, reverb. And since we're on that subject, let's just check it out really quick. So right now, I've got the dwell set pretty short. Pretty minimal. If you want to leave your level where it is, but have a longer verb, you can start turning up the dwell. Now, if you like where the, uh, the dwell is set and you want to just start kind of tapering that off in level, then you can turn down the reverb itself. go all the way the other way. So really great sounding reverb. Uh, I like that it's a little bit brighter. Sometimes a darker reverb sounds great when you're sitting by yourself playing, but when you get into the context of playing with a band, all of a sudden the reverb disappears and you end up having to turn it way up just to hear it. So I like that it's a little bit uh, brighter. Okay, let's get into some sounds. Uh, this amp is an excellent uh, clean uh, pedal platform amp for sure, but it's also capable of getting some growl uh, on its own. And because it's uh, tube rectified with that 6v6 power section, it just really feels great. It's just the right amount of compression. And as you start cranking it, those 6v6s can get pretty snarly. So right now we're dialed pretty clean. So it pretty much won't break up set like that. And that's kind of more, you know, how I'd run it with a pedal. And I'll turn one on uh, in just a second so you guys can hear that as well. But let's just go ahead and start kind of cranking the volume up a little bit. Crank it up a little bit more. definitely get some some crank out of this thing um, you know I, I when I used the uh, that p90 guitar for that first solo that was all amp and I had just a little bit of break up on it so it sounds really sweet in the way it breaks up the uh, EQ works really really well because as you start cranking it it's gonna get a little bit brighter So you can kind of start tweaking accordingly. So you can kind of just tweak to taste. It just depends on what you're into. Turn the reverb down so you're hearing more just the amp. And 
I'll just, you know, I'll just go ahead and sweep these controls so you can hear them. Here's the treb off. About 12 o'clock. Here's all the way up. Same thing with the bass. Now that bass is pretty huge sounding, just depends on what you're doing. I like to keep it around right there. Yeah, it just depends on what guitar you're using and, and you know how much just room sympathetics and things like that you're into, but it's a very usable control. Um, both those controls are great, especially, like I said, as you start cranking the amp up and down, um, they really interact well with the amount of uh, volume you're, you're bringing into the amp. Um, so let's listen to the boost switch really quick. So right now, got just a little bit of breakup. I'll go ahead and hit the boost switch. It just gives it that really cool bark and, and, and bite just by throwing the switch. And once again, you know, if it seems like it gets a little bright, you can back the treble off. There's all kinds of things you can do, even if you're running the amp cleaner, but you want just a little bit more of that kind of mid uh, element in there. tons of tones just in this amp as a standalone especially for sessions but it does take pedals really well so I'll kind of just turn on the same pedal I used actually for the second solo in the song it was a, a Friedman a Dirty Shirley pedal so like right now I'll dial it even cleaner so if you were going to go pedal platform and you wanted it to be really clean, you can hit it with an overdrive pedal. And it works great with everything. I've tried it with, you know, old vintage fuzz pedals, more modern distortions and overdrives. It's a really great pedal platform amp, but as I mentioned, if you're a session player or really just want to get all your grind out of the amp by either using the guitar's volume control or simply turning up and down, you can do that with it. It's a really great, versatile little combo. So for more information, go to the Morgan Amps website, and thanks as always for tuning in, and I'll have another demo up for you soon.